Hey guys, this is MadKids101, and today is going to be a video on how to edit preferences files on your computer, and how to view preferences files on your computer. Now, first of all, for people with a little background, if you know about the terminal command defaults, and you have used it to edit your dock settings, or finder settings, or dashboard settings, or whatever, um, you may notice that there's something in it that's com.something.something. Dot dot something. That's normally the name of the application in the company, like com.apple.doc. I'm going to be showing you <coughs> why exactly it is these things. Um, so, first of all, if you open a new Finder window to your Home folder, then you select Library, then you select Preferences, and if you have it in Icon View, that's okay too. Here are all your Preferences, um, Preference Files, and you'll notice that there are a bunch of things like com.apple.doc.plist, stuff like that, that are actually Preferences Files. So right here, if you see com.apple.doc.plist, if you open it up, it opens with Property List Editor, and right here, you can see are the doc preferences. No glass is a, a preference that you can check on or off. That's whether your doc is transparent or not. Um, so stuff like that is in these preferences files. Here, um, right here, are all the apps you have in your doc. Just random apps. Here's one of my apps. Okay, so that's um, how your doc works with defaults. Um, there are other preferences files here too. I mean, this folder is huge. It has the address book preferences, you know, all this, all this important stuff. If you deleted this directory, all your settings would be gone. But if you restored this directory, restored this directory from, say, a time machine disk, then um, your files would be remaining, um, and your preferences would be restored. So I'll just show you um, how how to edit these files through terminal. So first of all, you have to go into Terminal or iTerm or whatever terminal application you use. And you want to type default space write or read. If I type default space read space com.apple.doc, this is the name of the preference. And normally the real file has a .plist after it, but I'm not going to type that. Then I hit enter. It shows me every single thing in the doc's preference file. And that's actually pretty big, so I can pipe that into more. Okay, and I can scroll all the way to the bottom. It actually takes a few seconds. Oh, yeah, went past the bottom. Okay, whatever. So, um, that is um, how to read. If you type default space write space com dot apple dot doc space, let's say no glass space dash bool. And that means that's the data type is dash bool. If you say dash string, then it'll think it's a string space and then whatever. That's how you write to um, a default or um, yeah, a, a default file. It's called defaults, even though it's really a, a preference file. It's called defaults, and that's the interface on your application that reads and writes to your preferences. Um, is called NS user defaults. So it's called defaults. That's the actual name of it. So these in your home fo folder are um, are your preferences that you own. Um, there is also, if you go to your Macintosh HD right here, you can see you can see that in slash library there is a slash preferences slash preferences right here and it has a bunch of preferences in it like com.apple.doc okay um, so that's that so that is how to set preferences um, okay so thank you for watching Mac Kids 101 um, so subscribe and goodbye.